John Berzenk versus Leonidas Arcona. I think Leonidas is a great guy. I've had the chance to get to know him personally. I believe he's a better left arm arm wrestler than he is with his right. However, I think John is going to show what he can do. In my opinion, it's a mismatch and a confidence booster for John. I think John will dominate. Jerry Cataret versus Alex Cordecha. I think Alex's level is getting better, but I'm going to say Jerry 3 2 because I think Alex is going to be relying a lot more on a top roll, and I don't know his ability to drive into a press after he has top rolled somebody with his right arm. I think Jerry has enough side pressure to hold him up in that position. Alex has the potential too, but I'm going to have to go with Jerry on this one. If Jerry's able to hold Alex up, I think that'll be the turning point, unless Kurdecha is able to hammer him over to the side and transition to a quick press. But I haven't seen him be able to do that with his right arm. Travis Bajant versus Corey West. It all depends on what kind of Travis Bajant shows up. So if he's actually working on his power and everything else, I believe he could take it. I think Corey West is the stronger person. If he can stop Travis's hit and not let Travis get everything he wants in the setup, because Travis is a master of that, then I think it's Corey West. But if Travis is actually working on more strength and he's taking it more seriously, I think Travis has a chance. Todd Hutchings versus Evgeny Prudnik. I think Prudnik has the recipe for Todd. He's exploited it very well last time, but Todd is very good at adapting. I think when Todd loses a certain way and he gets out angled, Todd goes to the drawing board and just dissects everything his workouts, his angles, his hits. I think this is one that's probably eaten him for a bit, especially with how convincingly Prudnik was able to beat Todd. I want to see what Todd is going to be able to bring, pull out of his little tickle trunk there, this time. I think Prudnik could possibly do it again, but I think it could be a possibility. We could see Todd come out on top on this one. Michael Todd versus Camille Jablonski. I don't think Todd is where he was when he beat Jerry that time, and Jablonski has a different angle than Jerry does. I think it takes someone that's got the capability of being able to get somebody into a hook and expose their bicep in order to be able to beat Jablonski. I don't think Todd has that. Todd has the ability to go frame to frame, but Jablonski has more power in order to be able to push him against his frame and expose him. Todd's gonna have that stop with King's move, but being opened up, Jablonski's going to be able to push through it. I think there's a good chance Jablonski's going to take this one. Matt Mask versus Lars Rohrbacken. Lars is a different human being than he was 10 years ago when we pulled. I believe he's in better shape, he's got more experience now, he's been not as active in arm wrestling as me the last 10 years, but he's still Lars. He's got a few more options now than what he did back then. Now is my time to get one back that I lost. There's more than one angle that he's going now, so I need to be versatile enough so I'm able to block both of them regardless of what direction he decides to go in. There's a possibility he can beat me on any angle on the table, so I gotta make sure I'm 100% ready for no matter what direction he goes. Dave Chafee versus Frank Lamparelli. It all depends on how Dave is feeling. I know his neck has been an issue, and he wasn't connecting like he has been able to. If he's not feeling 90% or better, then Frank could beat him. Dave has a lot of side pressure and a great ability to flop press. Dave's ability to contain an opponent from coming outside of him is better than mine is. I think when Dave is on, his hand is like steel. Dave is bigger, more chiseled, and in physically better form than Frank too. Frank is strong, super thick hand but he carries around a little extra weight that he probably doesn't need to. I think Dave's going to beat Frank 3-0. Paul Lin versus Rustam Babayev. I'm going Paul Lin. I think Paul is stronger, and he's smarter, and he's better. And he continues to get stronger and better as he progresses. And I think Babayev has kind of hit a peak, and I think he's still top three in the world for his weight class. But I don't think he's gone any better than he has been. And I think Paul Lin is just continuing to progress. His dedication, everything that he has, he's continuing to progress. I say 3-1 Paul Lin. Craig Tullier versus Tom Holland. I say Craig Tullier wins 3-1. Artem Taranenko 
versus Mindaugas tarasitis. Artem Taranenko is coming in bigger, 10 kilos, than Mindaugas tarasitis. I think Artem's size and power will give him the edge here. Mindaugas is incredibly technical and cocky, but I believe Artem will be able to power through him. Mindaugas usually competes against guys closer to his own size and struggles when they're stronger. I think Artem will find the angles he wants and overpower Mindaugas in certain positions. My prediction is a 3-1 win for Artem. Justin Bishop vs. Janis Amelins I don't really know where Justin is right now. They have had matches in the past, and it kinda went both ways. That was in the wall days. Janis has been a lot more active, with a lot less injuries, over the last 6-7 years. Justin's conditioning for arm wrestling is absolutely insane. I know Justin has had some issues over the last 4-5 or five years, with his shoulder, his elbows, so it's really hard to say what Justin Bishop's going to show up. I think if Justin shows up 100%, it's going to be a war. Paul Talbot vs. Vrej Sedrakian I haven't seen Paul Talbot active recently, but when he was competing in wall, his left arm was unstoppable. Especially in the straps, when he got that connection, he was dominant. If the old Paul Talbot shows up and he's even stronger now, few can compete with him in left arm. I'm leaning towards Paul Talbot winning this one, especially if he's as strong as Paul Lin suggests. I think Paul Talbot can win. I believe Paul's longer arm and his ability to get the right connection will give him the advantage. I think Paul Talbot will win 3-1. Elizabeth Ray Mochik versus Alexandra Ozerova. I don't know much about Alexandra, so I have to pass on this one. Jonathan Breda versus Americ Pradines. I remember seeing Imerick pull at the last East vs. West event. He faced Robbie Topi and won convincingly. It was on the left arm. I'm not sure if Breda would be able to do that to Robbie in the same way. So I'm leaning towards Imerick Pradines for this match. I'd predict a 3-1 win for Imerick. Ryan Belanger vs. Raymond's Leapins. Ryan has a real strong hand, real strong wrist. Could be really interesting. I think he's going to put Coach Ray in some deep waters right off the beginning, just because I think he's got some crazy raw power for the size of this man. But I think Coach Ray might come out on top on this, just because his versatility and the way he's able to work those angles. His table IQ has really skyrocketed over the last couple years, I believe. So I think it's going to be 3-2 for Coach Ray, unfortunately. Hunter Knopfs versus Doug Ehrlich. I know them both. Hunter. I just got to recently see him pull. Very impressive. Hunter is very hungry. I know Doug hasn't been super active. I really don't know what's going to happen with this. I know the amount of power that Doug can bring to the table when he gets connected, but Hunter's explosiveness may cause an issue for Doug. If Doug can stall him out, I think we're going to end up with a war, and I could see Doug possibly taking over. But the way Hunter explodes, he is probably one of the most crisp hooks I've ever seen somebody perform, especially at that level.